So what is familial hemiplegic migraine? Uh, familial hemiplegic migraine is a rare genetic migraine. It's uh, estimated that about 0.01% of the world's population have it. So out of 7.5 billion people, only about 75 million have it. It's an extremely um, unusual migraine. It is nothing like a normal migraine. Uh, it, um, it actually it does the exact opposite of what a migraine does. Most migraines um, you'll have blood vessels in your head that will swell and they will constrict and that's what causes a normal migraine due to inflammation. A familial hemiplegic migraine will actually have the veins in your head collapse um, and that's the difference and that's kind of what causes the symptoms of familial hemiplegic migraine. So some of the symptoms and how you know you have it are um, that you have a family history of it, uh, that you, when you have a migraine, you have what looks like uh, a stroke with this migraine. So you'll start out with severe uh, a headache and then you can get slurred speech, you can have a slumped face, um, you'll, lose, you'll, be, you'll lose the ability to walk, um, you'll be paralyzed on, it's usually the right side, it can be the left side though, some, some people experience left side and some people can experience both. I know I have experienced sometimes, most time it's on my right side but sometimes it has been on my left side. It does run in families. My daughter has it um, as well as me, and my father had some uh, migraine, severe migraine issues. He had what was called cluster migraines, um, and kind of that, that kind of combination kind of led into me having uh, FHM. We don't have a history of him having familial hemiplegic migraine, but, but it, I, I've started it, and my daughter definitely has it. So uh, other things that can happen with um, Familial hemiplegic migraine is you can uh, have what's called ataxia, which is difficulty walking. Um, that can be part of your migraine aura, is just this ataxia um, type walking until you fall over <laughs> because, because of the paralysis. Um, you can also have uh, seizures. And in rare cases, extremely rare cases, some people have been known to go into, to lose consciousness, to go into a coma, and, and there has been some small, very small incidents of death. Um, uh, so the, what, what they believe, what I was told, and I was diagnosed in 2003, obviously the science has gone a lot further. Um, you can definitely get out on gene reviews and, and look, at, look at the science that's out there. But what I was told about uh, FHM and, and what caused it was a lack of ability to, for your lungs to get rid of carbon dioxide. So that's what's causing the migraines is a buildup of carbon dioxide in your body. It causes the veins in your head, head to collapse, and then that causes the stroke-like symptoms. Um, triggers for FHM aren't the normal triggers for migraine. Typically they are um, lack of sleep, exertion, and stress, which is kind of a typical, a typical migraine trigger, but it also can be a familial hemiplegic migraine trigger. Um, one of the ways that they can test to know if you have FHM is they'll do an exertion test and you will, you will have a migraine, you will trigger. Um, they'll push you long enough to where you do. <laughs> so um, that's one way to know. 